Hey there, John. It's Patrick McGuire giving you a quick tutorial on the comments and the posts. Like we said, the uh, video is just about done. The guys are doing an excellent job with it. You're going to love it. It's going to help uh, get people coming in, calling in, and uh, asking for requests of information. And you're going to see that uh, the more testimonials, the better. We need lots of pictures, lots of stories. Anything I can do to um, have those pictures tell a million stories, a million words, uh, the better. And that's going to drive people into the door or at least pick up the phone to make that phone call or click on the button to send us an email. As soon as the video is done, we'll also have a squeeze to get a free report. And that will help get us some email names and leads for you as well at the clinic level. So joining the conversation and um, our primary goal here is to help you access to do the um, comments and posts. So what we want to do is windsormedicalweightlossclinic.com forward slash wp-admin. Now it's going to recognize me so you'll have to enter your name and password that we uh, identified the other week together. If you need that again I can re-email it for you or change it for you. Now the things that we want to do is increase content as much as possible and it has to be relevant content as original as possible um, and I'll show you how to make everything original. What we want to look at is posts and comments. The very first thing you see on the screen is um, a sort of a snapshot if you will right now what's going on on the site but you'll see comments up there right away. All right. What I want to do is I have you go right to the comments section so just click on comments click on pending because we want to see only the ones that are looking for pending approval and you notice most of these are uh, spammy however things like this although it looks spammy is really good to approve why because they're backlinking the site from uh, from their site but they're also trying to backlink their own site so what you want to do is a quick edit my apologies and we do not want to allow them to backlink because it actually downranks our site and increases the rank of their site. And we'll save that. And now I'm going to approve it. Alright. So let's look at this one. Another one, same thing here. These guys are crazy. Update. And approve. So between the two of us, we'll keep this uh, an eye on this. You'll notice that I have posted a few things as medical admin. Um, and I will obviously uh, help you out with that sort of stuff. I was testing it. But to do the comments, it's pretty much like that. And let's do a reply. Thank you for the bookmark. And the reason we reply, John, is because it increases our traffic and ranking. The search engines see that there's live people in interaction going on. Try and make your comments a little different each time or your, your replies. Most important thing we have going on here is posts. So let's click on posts. And we're going to go to the post page. This is where I really need your help to get some content up. But you'll notice we did our test, John's post. It's still in draft mode. We've got another test, HCG, fat and pregnancy, all that stuff. So what I'm going to do is add new. If it gets up there. And in the meantime, I'm going to look for some new content. And we'll call it uh, type 2 diabetic weight loss. See what comes up. There we go. Is weight loss cure for type 2 diabetes. All right, so we don't know if this is original content or not for us. We don't know if it's relatable. Let me just click on add new again. This is an article coming from somebody else's website. So what you want to do is you want to give it a quick read. Make sure you understand everything that's going on and what they're saying. And the best way you can do this is to actually grab the content copy and my goodness is taking a while to load here we go 
and is so add a title is weight loss a cure for type 2 diabetes pretty easy isn't it so now we're going to add the content that I just copied now we're going to review this afterwards but for the sake of this video we'll just do it quickly and you need to type in some original content in doing some research for the whoops All right, so what we're going to do is we're going to suggest that they give it a read. Originally posted. And we're going to come back to that. Okay, so now what I've done is I've actually gone and used somebody else's content. And it was originally posted at care.diabeticsjournal.org. All right, now the interesting thing is we're not linking exactly directly to the articles, so people have to do some search. And we want to unlink this hyperlink so it's no longer a true hyperlink. And that way it's there, but it's not linking back from the site. And it's showing you got some little research and did the article work. So very easy to add a post like that. And we also want to, um, if we have an image, there could be a post image. I'll show you that in another video, but for now this is content related. Custom title tag. Well, this is an easy one. And the reason you want to do that and add those custom title tags is because every page and every post has a different theme. Use keywords that were found in the comment or in the post to be able to do that. You pretty much don't need to do anything else here. That is it. Just add a post and use all of these features up here. So my apologies. Use all these features up here just like you would in Word. So you can bold stuff, you can italicize, you can strike through. And we're going to hit save draft. I want to see what this looks like, so I hit preview. And this is what the post is going to look like. and there's no comments but people can leave a comment and we want to encourage them to leave a comment so I'm gonna go back into this page I'm gonna to go to the very bottom pretty easy stuff I'm gonna make that a little more bolder I'm gonna give it a little punch actually I'll unbold it and I will give it something a little bigger please leave a comment and any questions you may have below sorry always tell them where to do it and how to do it I'm gonna type this in as weight loss I'm gonna select a category so it's in weight loss now um, you can add title tags which is a must uh, type 2 diabetes weight loss medical advice okay separated by a comment and then hit the add and there you go 
I'm going to publish this because I know what it looks like now. So that one is now published. Take a quick look at it. Looks good. There it is. And we're golden. So with that being said, we're now at the Medical Weight Loss blog, and that's where people can find us. So that's all you need to do to add content that is not original, but seems or appears original to search engines. And ideally, you want to write lots of original content as much as you possibly can, and use excerpts from other content that you've taught, learned, or researched and found. And that is it, John. So a real quick recap. To log in, I'm going to log out. For us to log in, put your username and admin name, password, check the comments. What comments do I need? Well, I'm going to approve that one. I'm going to go to my posts. I'm going to go to posts. Uh, I'm going to go to John's post. And in fact, I'm just going to delete this one. So I'm going to move it to the trash so you can do your own testing. Make sure anything you're testing, you do delete because once you publish it, it goes live on the internet. Save it as draft and it'll always be in the drafts. Or you can save something as pending review and, uh, and let me know and I'll check it out. So that'll be about it. And I'll teach you how to add pictures later on. Get used to this. Post a couple of test uh, posts and do not publish them. Just save them as drafts. And send me a quick email or text just to let me know and uh, I'll check it out and make sure everything's moving smoothly. Talk to you soon, John. Take care, buddy.